Hi you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I am going to finally give you a flip through of IEW Structure and Style Level 1A. You guys, I am so excited about today's video and showing you an in-depth flip through of IEW, what it has to offer and what writing units my fifth grader is going to be doing for the 2022-2023 homeschooling year. So if you guys are excited to see inside of IEW, then go ahead and stay tuned for uh, today's video. So you guys, if any of you are new here to my channel, again, my name is Brittany. I am a homeschooling mom to three girls ages 10, four, and two, and I am going into my third year of homeschooling. And you guys, I am not gonna lie, writing has always been the subject in my homeschool that I have been most hesitant and most nervous about because writing is not my strong subject. I am not good at writing. It's so crazy that I was a really good student all throughout my um, high school years and I made really, really good grades in everything except for writing. And that is really has always been a struggle area for me. It really has taken me a lot of hard work to get where I'm at as far as my writing abilities. And I don't want none of my kiddos to struggle. And that is why I wanted to go ahead and use a curriculum that was gonna take that pressure off of me from actually teaching writing to my homeschoolers, to my kiddos. I really need that support and I really knew that writing was going to be a curriculum that I was going to have to outsource at some point. So up until now, you guys, within our homeschool, when it has come to writing, I have taught my daughter simple things like how to structure her paragraphs. We have worked on bibliographies. We've worked on poetry. We have worked on all of the writing skills that I feel confident and comfortable with working on with her. Uh, but it comes to a point where, uh, like I said before, I was just really ready to let that go. And that was one of my main reasons for choosing IEW Structure and Style. I love the way that it's taking the kiddos through each each part of the writing process and honestly you guys I really feel like if I was able to get this form of structure within writing um, I feel like I probably would be a stronger writer today so hopefully by doing this curriculum with my daughter it's not only going to help her when it comes to her structured form of writing but it's going to help me as well so um, Brielle my my 10 year old who will be going into the fifth grade she's very strong in like creative writing she likes writing about like fantasies she is really strong in that aspect but sometimes I find her when I give her a paper or an assignment when I say okay Brie I want you to write a paragraph about this specific topic sometimes I'm finding she's clamming up just a little bit when it comes to her still writing in her own voice and adding in information and doing a more structured form of a paper than when she's doing her creative writing and I don't want my daughter to struggle when it comes to uh, writing in that type of structure format. Writing is so important. I mean, she's gonna be writing all throughout high school and if she chooses to further her education within college, she's gonna be writing all throughout college as well. So I feel like two main subjects that I wanna just give her a good foundation in and all of my kiddos a good foundation is gonna be math and writing because I know they're gonna need those two things to be successful uh, throughout their years. So um, you guys, I'm done rambling. <laughs> I'm done talking about all the reasons why I chose IEW. I'm going to flip you guys around. I'm going to show you the writing components and um, what IEW has to offer. Um, this curriculum is new to my homeschool. We have not started it yet. So um, I am not familiar with all of the working parts, but I'm going to do my best to show you guys the insight and how IEW works from the knowledge that I have gained so far. Okay, you guys, so this is IEW Structure and Style uh, level, year one, level A. So this unit right here is geared towards grades three through five. Um, and yeah, you guys, I'm not gonna lie, I was kind of hesitant to buy this specific unit for my daughter. I was really tempted to buy the um, level B for her just because I know she has the stamina to write more and I know she's capable um, however because this is a new program I kind of rather it be a little bit easier for her than for us to jump in headstrong into um, year two but if I do find that she does great with year one level A we won't do the continuation of level A we would just go on into uh, year uh, we will go on into um, year one level B 
for um, next year. So that is kind of like my plan when it comes to IEW. But um, yeah, this particular one is geared for grades three through five. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off talking about the components. This right here is your student binder that your student is gonna be using as they go through IEW structure and style. And this right here is your teacher's manual. So <clears throat> with structure and style, you guys, this is a video-based curriculum. So you as a parent, you are gonna be kind of hands off when it comes to this curriculum. I am, however, prepared to help and assist my daughter as we go throughout this curriculum. I will have to grade her assignments and. And I will have to uh, help her as she's going along with it. Uh, but hopefully by us doing this, we will learn together uh, with IEW. So IEW is actually taught by Andrew Pudawa. And I, from what I've heard, his video lessons are great, you guys. Um, I haven't watched any of the videos by myself yet. I want to kind of save it to watch it with my daughter and it kind of like be exciting as we start off our new year. So right at the beginning of your teacher's guide, it does have a section where it gives you um, your access to different downloads that you may want and you may want to use within um, your homeschooling year. The only thing so far, you guys, that I have downloaded from the access downloads has been this right here, which is... Um, you guys can see that okay which is this right here which is the scope and sequence for a 30 week adapted schedule so this right here gives me a schedule of how we're going to complete this um whole year one level a iew within 30 weeks our homeschooling year is 36 weeks so i kind of feel like it's kind of cool it's giving me a six week leeway so if we want to take a um, christmas break and not worry about doing iew we will be able to still do that and finish this course within our year of um homeschooling so i'm really excited about this schedule um i'm gonna follow it pretty tightly just because um i'm new to this but um, as we go on, if I find my daughter needs a little bit more time with the longer units, we will kind of just adapt and go from there. But um, I'm happy that the downloads has this schedule so I don't have to worry about scheduling it. All I have to do is just write in my planner what unit we're going to be doing and keep on moving from there. So if anything, I would definitely say to go ahead and download the schedule so you can kind of like know uh, when and where and how many units you're going to be doing per week, etc. Okay. So the units and the contents that my daughter is going to be going over this year is the first unit is note making and outlines. The second unit is writing from notes. The third unit is retelling narrative stories. The fourth unit is summarizing a reference. The uh, fifth unit is writing from pictures. The sixth unit is summarizing multiple references. And the seventh unit is inventive writing. Or I feel like this is probably going to be like a creative writing unit. So she's probably going to really enjoy doing the creative writing unit at the end. Now at the end of the units, they will have like a timed essay assessment that they're going to be doing as well. Kind of like to see how they have done throughout the course of um, this uh, year. So within uh, the... Um, teacher's guide they do again have another copy of the schedule that I just showed you I just like having two copies so I can put this one in my planner and then I have this one in my teacher's guide so I don't have to always pull this out but this just gives you the scope and sequence and how many weeks you're going to be doing each unit so now here goes the meat of IEW so for week one it tells us our our um, source text that we're going to be using for our note taking which is the first unit it tells me right here um what total time we're going to be spending on our video for that week it also tells me um just everything that we need it has a literature suggestion too as we're going on the week so that's what these little portions are right here is literature session literature suggestions that we can read um as we're doing iew um i don't expect to do all of these literature su suggestions but it will be kind of nice for us to do a few so i might carve out time for us to do a few of these literature suggestions we actually um read little house on the prairie this year so it'll kind of be fun for her to um review that story since she's already read it as well as a literature suggestion so <clears throat> it outlines right here what we're going to be doing for day one day two day three and day four and five 
So I really like how it gives you specifically what we're gonna be doing each day. Um, and what's kind of cool is that they already, um, what's kind of cool right here is that they already have scheduled in Fix It Grammar. So I actually have Fix It Grammar, the, um, I have Fix It Grammar right here, Town, Town Mouse, Town Mouse and Country Mouse level two because we are actually gonna be completing Fix It Grammar, the old version of level one. So it's kind of cool how it already has the schedule for us to add in Fix It Grammar as well when it comes to our days and how we're gonna be doing it. So right here on this section right here is actually the board notes that um, Andrew Pudawa is going to be going over with the kids. So if Brielle kind of like uh, misses it, uh, we can uh, go back and she can kind of have, I'll have all of the board notes from uh, his class discussion. Right here is going to be the source text that she's going to be using for her outline. I have a sample right here of it. And then here goes the rest of the source text that she's going to be using. Um, it also gives, these are little highlights that's also going to be within her student binder as well about making notes and outlines. And then it just goes on to the next week. Again, with the video preparation, how long we're going to be doing it, it breaks up what we're going to be doing each and every day um, by uh, guidelines, which is really, really cool. Um, I'm hoping to be able to complete this within four days because I do like to reserve my Fridays for um, fun Fridays for us to do creative things. However, if that last Friday we are like editing one of her final drafts or something like that, I don't think my daughter will mind. She loves writing and... Um, I think she won't mind if we have to do day five, but my goal is for me to utilize just days one through four when we're doing um, our keyword outline, our source text and things like that. So again, it, the same format just uh, goes along uh, with IEW as far as this teacher's guide. It just goes over um, our schedule at the beginning of the week, the videos and the total times we're gonna spend on the videos. And uh, it gives me my source text and it also gives the board notes. And that is pretty much how this whole um, teacher guide looks. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do you guys is I'm gonna flip through the rest of this um, teacher's guide and let you see all that's in it. You guys, I forgot to mention that there is a composition checklist at the end of each writing assignment week that goes over what key things that I need to be grading or checking within my daughter's final draft for each week's writing assignment. They will go over the style, the dress ups, the mechanics, and the specific structure that Andrew Pudawa is looking for the students to achieve after each writing week's assignment. So that is something else that's in there that I'm really happy that I have. I don't have to worry about creating my own checklist. It's just all there waiting for me to go. inside of the structure and style student binder and my daughter's student binder is it looks pretty similar to the teacher's guide so what I did was when I first got my IEW in the pretty little green box I did exactly what it told me to do was was I had to take out these papers and all it told me to do was put this first section here and the rest of the papers for my daughter with all of her source text that she's going to be using for her keyword outlining and for her uh, note taking and all those things it told me to put in the back of the binder because as Andrew Pudawa goes over the um, the video lessons with her they're going to be explaining to her which section she's going to be putting all of her papers in they have a source text uh, divider right here they have a models and charts outline work in progress and all of her finished compositions so each divider has different things she's going to be putting in and I don't actually have to instruct her to do it the video lessons will so again on her she has her same schedule that I have in a teacher's guide it actually has the source text that she's going to be doing and in this case this is a, uh, the dog and the shadow is what she's going to be doing for her first source text and keyword outline and the source text i'm noticing in the beginning they are very very short and as it gets further the short the source text that she's going to be doing her outlines for it gets longer and longer so um, again, it has the same format where it goes over what we're going to be doing each week. It has the source text and um, 
it has whatever else she needs that Andrew Kudawa is going to be telling her to do. So um, yeah, this is pretty much uh, how it works as far as the um, writing curriculum, the writing program. I'm not going to lie, you guys, when I first seen this program on the website, I was kind of intimidated about this program as well because it seemed to be like so many moving parts and the website, I will say, is not as easily navigated as I think it could be. But getting IEW in my hand, looking at the videos, it doesn't seem as complicated as I thought it would be. So I cannot wait you guys to come back to you as we've had done IEW uh, in August when we started, uh, giving you guys like a quarter review, my semester review of how it is working for us. Um, like I said before, my daughter is very strong in creative writing. She's very strong in uh, different types of writing, but sometimes when she gets to this type of structured writing where she is confined to a specific topic, I find that she does clam up. And I really think that IEW is going to give her uh, the tools that she's going to need not to clam up when it comes to more a more structured form of writing and for her to continue to put her heart in her uh, writing. So you guys, as you can see, we're in week 12 and the source text has gotten very, very long compared to how we started off. So um, yeah, you guys, I'm really excited for us to uh, continue and to start off uh, IEW. So um, that is pretty much IEW in a nutshell, the student binder and the teacher's manual. Now, like I said before, you guys, I also have, um, I went ahead and I purchased Fix It Grammar, uh, the second book, because we are actually finishing up right now the first book. Uh oh, sorry. We are actually finishing right now the first book, which is Fix It Grammar, The Nose Tree. This right here is the old edition, and this right here is the new edition. They have made some significant changes within Fix It Grammar, and I'm really excited for um, my daughter to uh, do this. Uh, she really enjoys Fix It Grammar, and I enjoy it too. Fix It Grammar is uh, just a very simple grammar program where she's going to be editing one sentence a day looking up her vocabulary and rewriting it so um, that is pretty much fix it grammar in a nutshell and I'm really excited because for the weeks that we do have heavier composition weeks I know that I can pull out fix it grammar for us to do and uh, it could be more simple as far as her grammar so she can get back and focus in a lot more on her writing so along with fix it grammar this year you guys I went ahead and I also purchased the um, Fix It Grammar, uh, the cards that goes along with it. And hopefully these uh, grammar cards will be good tools for her to refer back to when she is doing um, Fix It Grammar. Fix It Grammar is very independent. I mean, my daughter right now going into fifth grade, she will not need me at all. She will pretty much be able to do this. I will just have to uh, review and we go over whatever concept it was and kind of keep pushing from there. So I'm really excited for us to continue to use Fix It Grammar within our um, homeschool as well. Okay, you guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I really hope you enjoyed the flip through of IEW structure and style. And I really hope that it's giving you a more in-depth view of what IEW is, the writing components that your kiddos is gonna do, and hopefully today's video helped you. I will link below two very good IEW videos from homeschooling moms who actually did this curriculum for several years with their kiddos. Uh, those videos actually encouraged me to go ahead and take the plunge to purchase IEW on my own. So I'm gonna leave those two videos down below if you guys want like more information and reviews on how it works out for your kiddos since I don't have that experience just yet. So you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoy. And as always, I look forward to seeing everybody in my next one. Bye.